hi guys welcome back to my channel for anyone new my name is kim today i have a base unboxing for you guys oh it's a pretty big box so i did do a video previously on the base large check-in bag and how it broke on me so i do still love their luggage and i feel like tsa just broke that luggage so i don't necessarily think it's base fault however i wanted to give them a another chance so i decided to get the carry-on um i do have a trip coming up so yeah i'm really excited for this so i already cut the tape and i feel like it's a little difficult doing an unboxing for something so big So I decided to go with the carry-on size um, in the video previously about the large check-in bag it was just a little bit too big for my liking I mean way 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 too big for any type of airplane travel for my liking so I decided to do the carry-on and um, yeah let's go into a couple things that I love about this bag okay so i have the luggage on my desk right now just so it's easier for you guys to take a look at um the color i decided on is actually this kind of like i would say it's a light to mid-tone gray color um if black was available i probably would have grabbed black but on the upside i kind of like that it's gray because it's easy to spot and i don't feel like a lot of um people have this color so if i were to check it in i would be able to spot my bag right away um so yeah i'm very happy with the color i think it's very beautiful um honestly i don't think you'll be able to see see it but in person it almost has kind of like this sparkle effect or like the sheen to it so it's not like completely a matte shade one of my main features on this bag is going to be this little retractable strap right here. Um, so I usually travel with a Speedy with me and I love that I can be completely hands-free by using this and attaching my bag and uh, the weight limit on this is going to be 15 pounds and that's actually pretty heavy. Like that's pretty heavy duty for it to be able to carry. Another feature of this bag is going to be the um, security uh, lock on here. So you can set a, a code and then put the zippers on here for it to be a little bit more secure so no one's going to be able to rummage through your bag. Here you have the handle for the side of the bag. Um, but what's nice is there is actually a weight indicator right here. So if you actually stuff this luggage more than 50 pounds and then you carry it with this um, handle this little indicator will turn red to indicate it's over 50 pounds i just don't really feel like it's um completely accurate but i will say um If you are worried about your luggage being overweight, I would recommend buying something like this. I got this on Amazon and what you do is you turn it on and then you decide on what unit you want. If it's um, for me, I, I'll just use pounds, but then you'll be able to hook this onto this weight and this will tell you exactly how much your luggage weighs, okay? So I did like the weight indicator on here, but considering it might not be completely exact, that worries me a little bit. So yeah, I decided to purchase this. This was, I mean, you can find it for like $10. Highly, highly, highly recommend this. Um, next, I'm just gonna show you, they have two zippers. They're really big and sturdy. Um, it's kind of like 
So on the front of it, it's a, it says Bays. Um, and it's matte and on the other side it doesn't say anything but it is a shiny silver color the zipper on this is super duper smooth like i don't have any issues getting in and out of this bag so this is what the top of the bay's luggage looks like so you have this is what i showed you earlier the little strap to hold any of your bags um the, the zipper is going to be right here no issues there and then there is going to be a handle on top and then this is going to be where your um, roller handle is it did come with this little plastic luggage tag which i actually might just use as a luggage tag um it's really cute clear um so yeah i might just write my name and address on here and one thing that i love about this is this so this is where the handle is and there's a little button it says there's a little button right here where you can push it to make it go down and up and right underneath there is a little padding for your hands when you're rolling this around so i really love that aspect because it just makes the experience a little bit more comfortable now i'm gonna open the bag to show you guys what it looks like inside On one side you actually have these little compression fasteners and then you also have this to also compress um, this is detachable with some buttons on the side right here and then on the inside of this there's a little mesh lining and a zipper so if you wanted to put something like a flat you can in here and then you can use this to compress everything on this side you have two big pretty big pockets okay so there are two um, drawstring bags inside and one says not basic and one says dirt bag so this is actually really nice so what you can keep your dirty laundry separated you can also use them for as shoe bags as well so then there are these two pockets I feel like these two pockets would be great for like um you can use them for toiletry items or like undies and bras and stuff like that just to keep everything like separated and then there is a zipper and then there's this big compartment right here probably my very favorite aspect of the base luggage is going to be the wheels so these are 360 wheels they're so incredibly smooth so they're japanese wheels and i just love that i know shay has talked about this before she like tried out so many different wheels and these were the best ones that she ever tried and i can confirm that hi guys okay so i wanted to come on the end of this video uh because i just got back from two trips and i did use the bay's carry-on size luggage um first i went on a trip to paris i was there for two weeks i did check the bay's luggage in um going to paris as well as coming home from paris and tsa did not break 
my luggage so i'm very happy to report that uh the luggage is pretty much in pristine condition and then when i was in chicago i um, had it as a um, just my carry-on bag one thing that i actually forgot to talk about um, when i was talking about the unboxing and the features is um, now one of my favorite features uh, let me show you guys <laughs> So before I bought this, I was um, thinking about getting the Away luggage. Uh, so it was between the Away and then this, and I actually got the Away luggage for my boyfriend. So I did get to try it out, um, but why I really wanted to get this, there were two things that really stuck out. One was the wheels on this is so much smoother than the away luggage okay i was very surprised by that and my boyfriend's like oh i don't really notice a big difference but i feel like it's a big difference for me um when the away luggage was packed full it just kind of like i felt like i had to drag it a little bit more whereas this it just kind of rolled very smoothly and easily um, and then the other reason why I decided to get this is because So there is a second zipper on here And this is because this is actually expandable So I'm gonna show you So the depth of um, the luggage without the expansion is about nine inches but when you expand it it expands to 12 inches total so you get an additional three inches of space in here i mean that is just kind of amazing um, on their website it does say that when you expand it i think the capacity is 40 pounds so just be careful with that if you do pack it too much um you know you just don't want this uh zipper tape to you know you don't want to put too much strain on the zipper tape on this um so when i actually went to paris i did not have this expanded um and i didn't pack too much in here i did weigh it and it was about 26 pounds going to paris and then when i came back home i did pack this like pretty much to the max and i did expand it as well and it was maybe about 42 pounds so per it was kind of like the perfect um, weight to be honest and one thing that i will know about uh when you expand it is when you carry it like this it pretty much puts a lot more weight it it kind of distributes the weight kind of oddly because when it is not expanded the weight is distributed pretty evenly from both sides of the suitcase but when you expand it you can kind of see the weight is going to be more on one side even now as i'm holding it you can kind of see it tilts more to this side yeah just be careful you know you don't want to hurt yourself and you definitely don't want to break this so i definitely would not suggest stuffing it um, more than 40 pounds if you are wondering um, for size comparison between the Bay's carry-on and the Away carry-on, my boyfriend's actually out of town right now, so he's using his luggage. So I can't really show you um, side by side what they both look like, but they are pretty much the exact same dimensions. Like everything is going to be the same. They are the same size. The biggest difference though uh, size-wise is that this does expand. I would highly recommend the Bay's luggage. I just love this thing so much like it makes traveling so much more enjoyable but yeah if you guys have any questions at all um, as far as the base goes let me know and i will be sure to answer okay. that see you next time bye